Hello friends, this is Rakesh and welcome to the video on solid geometry. In this video, I will solve some examples by applying the formulas which we have learned in the theory part from the same topic. So let's start with the first example. So the question given to us is, the sum of all the edges of cuboid is 24 cm and the total surface area is 22 cm square. You have to find the length of the body diagonal of the cuboid. We know that the formula for finding the body diagonal, say D, is under root of square of length plus square of width plus square of the height. So we have to find this. Let us see what all things have been given. It is given that the sum of all the edges is 24 centimeters. So how many edges are there? There are 12 edges. Each of this edge, L, B and H, would have been added four times. So I have been given four times of length plus breadth plus height equal to 24. From this, I can easily find what is the sum of the length plus width plus height, which is 6. So let it be equation 1. Now the second information given to us is that the total surface area is 22 centimeters square, which is by the formula is 2 times L into B plus B into H plus L into H which is equal to 22. Again, let this be equation 2. Now, from the basic algebra, we know that for given three numbers A, B and C, A plus B plus C square is equal to A square plus B square plus C square plus 2 times of AB plus BC plus C. If you can compare, you find that we have been given A plus B plus C and we have been given 2 times of AB plus BC plus CA and we need to find the under root of A square plus B square plus C square. So from here I can say that L plus B plus H whole square is equal to L square plus B square plus H square plus 2 times of LB plus BH plus LH. So putting the values, we'll be getting 6 square equal to L square plus B square plus H square plus 22. Solving, we'll be getting L square plus B square plus H square equal to 36 minus 22 or 14. And the body diagonal is under root of this expression. So the body diagonal D would be under root of 14. So this is the answer for the given question. So it's pretty easy. In fact, I would say it's an application of algebra more than solid geometry. Let's move ahead to next question. So the next question says that there are three marbles of various size are placed in a conical funnel as shown in the figure. Each marble is in contact with the adjacent marble. Also, each marble is in contact with all around the funnel wall. The smallest marble has a radius of 8 millimeter and the largest marble has a radius of 18 millimeter. You have to find the radius of the middle marble. Okay, so the radius of this circle is 8 and the radius of this circle is 18. We have to find the radius of the middle circle. Let me give you a general formula for such question. So what I am doing is I am inverting this conical part from vertical to horizontal. So I have just inverted the given figure. Now we can see that this line is tangent to all the three circles. So let me drop the radius from the respective centers. So each of them will be perpendicular on the tangent. Now we also know that if the circles are touching then the point of contact and their respective centers are always in a straight line. So let me draw a line passing through the point of contact and their centers respectively. Now let the radius of the smallest circle be R1, the middle circle be R2 and the largest circle be R3. Let me drop a perpendicular from this center to this line and also from this center to this line. Observe that these two triangles 
let me color them triangle this and this triangle will be a similar triangle why similar triangle because both are 90 degree right angle triangles as well as one angle is equal because these two will be parallel and this line is a transversal so this is a corresponding angle so two angles are equal and hence both the triangles will be similar now since this is radius so it will be r1 and this entire length is r2 so this much part will be r2 minus r1 similarly this entire length is r3 and this portion is r2 so this length will be r3 minus r2 also the length between these two centers will be r1 plus r2 and the length between these two centers will be r2 plus r3 so applying the logic of similar triangle the corresponding side will be in same proportion we will be getting r1 plus r2 that is this line divided by this and that is r2 minus r1 will be equal to this upon this which is r3 plus r2 upon r3 minus r2 now observe that if i apply component and dividend in both the side i'll be getting r2 upon r1 equal to r3 upon r2 applying cross multiplication i'll be getting r2 square equal to r1 into r3 or i can say that the radius r2 radius of the middle circle will be equal to geometric mean of the circles in the extreme r1 into r3 so the objective of doing this much of calculation was to get this result and that is very important we have to remember this result for any such questions that the radius will always be geometric mean of the circus in the extreme now coming back to the question so the given thing is r1 is 8 and r3 is 18 so we can easily calculate r2 which will be r2 equal to under root of 8 into 18 after solving we will be getting the answer to be 12 centimeter so this is the answer for the question given hope you have understood the relation if not please rewind the video and do the calculation yourself to make it clear let's move to the next question so i'll be taking the last question for this video question third again a cone is given it is divided into three parts a b and c and this part and this part we got by cutting it parallelly to the base and it is also mentioned that the heights of all these three sections are equal and we have to find the volume of the ratio okay let me draw the height of the largest cone and suppose the three parts are all equal to h so height for this portion is h similarly height for this portion is also h and height for this portion is also h so that is what it mentioned that it is being divided into three equal heights now observe that if i draw the radius of all three circles and let the radius be r1 for this r2 for this and r3 for this and this will be 90 degree so again we are getting similar triangles that this triangle is similar to this triangle similarly it is similar to this triangle so applying the logic of similar triangle that if the two triangles are similar then their corresponding sides are in same proportion by this we get r1 upon r2 equal to h upon 2h or 1 by 2 which implies that r2 is 2 times of the radius of part a extending the logic you will be getting that 
the radius of the third part will be three times the radius of the part A. Now let me calculate the ratio of volume of A is to A plus B is to A plus B plus C. Why I am taking these? Because A plus B if I combine A and B together it is again a cone. A plus B plus C is the largest cone and A itself is the smallest cone. Let me take the ratio of volume of this part. So it will be 1 by 3 pi r square into h and a plus b the radius will be 2r and height will be 2h. So it will be 1 by 3 pi into 2r whole square into 2h which is 1 by 3 pi into 3r whole square into 3h. Observe that 1 by 3 pi r square h all are common so that will get cancelled out and will be left with the ratio of a a plus b and a plus b plus c to be equal to 1 is 2 2 square is 4 into 2 is 8 is 2 3 square is 9 into 3 that is 27 we have been asked to find the ratio of a is to b is to c observe that if a is 1 a plus b is a so if a is 1 b will be 7 and a plus b plus c is 27 and a plus b is 8 so it implies that c is 90 so this is the required ratio with this we have come to the end of this video i'll be taking few more examples in the coming videos thank you